two, one. You're listening to episode 38 of the JP Pod. I'm JP. I'm Fiddlin' Leona. How's everybody doing out there in the internet world today? <laughs> How are you doing, Fiddlin' Leon? I'm enjoying this spring weather. Spring it's weather. We was able warm. to get a run in this morning. Yeah. So we it felt were, good. Yes, it was very nice. But I'm hearing that's going to snow or something. Oh. Uh, Welcome bad. to Tennessee this time of year. It'll be really nice one day and really <laughs> bad the next. But anyway, we wanted to kind of check in with you here. Got a little bit of uh, news or uh, updates we wanted to give you about what's coming up. Yes. And uh, go ahead and fire us off, Leona. Okay. Well, uh, you already have heard, but the Swap Shop Season 2 on Netflix is coming February 16th. I believe it's a Wednesday. Wednesday. And I guess it comes out on the California time. Yeah, so, so 3 a.m. Uh, Eastern. Eastern time. Okay. Eastern time. And 4, 4 p.m. in Japan, if you're listening in Japan. So it'll okay. drop at 4 p.m. on the 16th. Okay. So if you are planning to binge watch, um, make sure to do the, what's it called? Them reminder thing yeah. on the Netflix ne- and be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's right. Even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> so season two swap shop coming it's up. Coming up. And uh, then the, so we're excited to also start back our food truck. We're out of the winter hibernation. That's right. John Paul USA is coming back. Um, actually, we start from this Sunday. I don't know if I can drop <laughs> this video by then or not, but the February 13th. Mm. Sunday, three thirty. That's right, three thirty till whenever. About six thirty. Yes, at the Riverside Tap House in Elizabethton, uh, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you are in this East Tennessee area, um, we'll be setting up. You remember the last time we had somebody come all the way from way over in North Carolina? So if you're, yes, if, if you're really hungry, yes. you can come from California if you want to. <laughs> And uh, if you miss the 13th, we'll be back the next Sunday at the Riverside Tap House yes. in downtown Elizabeth and the 20th, uh-huh. 3.30 once again. Mm-hmm. So uh, order then, online. That's right. We have an online menu. Mm-hmm. Um, I would highly recommend to do that because uh, people around here is craving my yakisoba. It's, yeah. uh, that's the noodle dish. And if it's gone, it's gone. Mm-hmm. So I cannot... Do anything about it. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So, so you can lock in your order. You can, you can find that if you're uh, wanting to order. You can go to jpusa.square.site. Yes. S-I-T-E. And, and uh, all the links are on our Instagram account. So yeah, you can click it. From the bio there. link in our Instagram. Mm-hmm. So Food Truck is coming back. And also our music performance is uh, starting back. Yes, and this one's actually the first indoor concert we have done since very late 2019. I guess so. Like we did maybe like a Christmas concert or something back then. Yeah, that was that that, was it. That was it. It was a Christmas concert right before Christmas 2019. That was the last indoor. (laughs) Uh, Oh my goodness! Okay. And what's weird is actually. Just, but, you know, before this virus and stuff, I preferred indoor concerts. Uh-huh. Because outside's Outside. hot or cold. And, and the rain. The rain and yes. bugs. And Leona's scared to death of bugs. <laughs> but, well, yeah, <laughs> summertime, that festival situation. <laughs> like when, I, when you have to play in the evening time, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, that spotlight is those really bright, whatever they use for yeah. fixing thing or something. Mm-hmm. So the bugs just go crazy yeah. and then <laughs> they're bugs in your face and, and also i have to say bugs in deep tennessee uh-huh. is 10 times bigger than what i've ever seen in tokyo that's true minus the murder <laughs> hornets wow. but, well yeah. yes <laughs> yeah those are huge <laughs> so it just always freaks me out so but. we've got the indoor concert it's uh it's on state street in bristol at the newly renovated i guess last year they uh-huh. finished uh cameo theater mm-hmm. And uh, you can go to Cameo Theater, Bristol, Virginia, mm-hmm. 
uh, if you'd like to buy tickets. This is a tribute concert to Gene Boyd, mm -hmm. who is uh, a lot of people in the region remember Gene as the uh, fiddling barber. barber. Had a barber shop where they would, uh, sometimes it, you might be getting your hair cut and a bunch <laughs> of people are jamming. <laughs> Or they might play a song he wants to play, and then he would quit cutting your hair and go that's, over and play fiddle. That's so, like, I don't know if it's American or a country or... It's Appalachian. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, my goodness. But uh, So that's uh, that Gene Boyd concert. It's on uh, the 26th. 26th, Saturday. Fe Saturday, February mm -hmm. the 26th. It's a cameo, and uh, it's a tribute concert, so we're, uh, we're part of it. Uh, Becky Bueller. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hunter Berry, ETSU Bluegrass, uh, Duty Free. Mm -hmm. It's one of those variety shows. So there should be something there you would enjoy. But if you want tickets, check out the Cameo Theater in Bristol, Virginia, and you can get your reserve your tickets there for a celebration of the life of Gene Boy. And doors open at 6, I believe. At so. 6. And uh, we f start off everything at 6.30. So yep. be sure to be there uh, ready to go at 6.30. All right. And... Uh, uh, listen to us play inside. You excited? I'm all. I'm really excited because we even haven't played outside since what October. Maybe so. So yeah. I'm really itching to do something. <laughs> yes, performance. So, <laughs> so check us out at the cameo. Check us out at the food truck. Watch our show on Netflix. Uh, that should cover the now. recent yes thing. So on this episode, we were thinking of. Uh, um, maybe talking about like a little engagement <laughs> with our fans mm -hmm. or friends or yeah, however yeah. you want to call enemies. Them. I don't know. <laughs> so um, I usually try to engage with anybody who commented on my social media account. Mm, yeah. Um, lately I've been selling this T-shirt quite a bit. Um, people wanting my autograph and so on, making me feel like a little celebrity or something <laughs> <laughs> but um when the season two got announced mm -hmm. it was coming i posted i think it was a youtube trailer of this season two season two mm -hmm. onto one of my social media account i'm not gonna specify which one <laughs> um this guy commented something and what did he say i forgot i didn't you know react or uh -huh. anything but i also left it there uh -huh. so so people who's listening or watching this can look at it but um he said i didn't make it 10 minutes into that show absolutely horrible is what he commented onto my post mm -hmm. Of this trailer mm -hmm. thing. But the picture is, I just did the screenshot of YouTube at the very beginning. Right. What's it look like? Which is you mm -hmm. holding something. You just kind of hand and mm -hmm. your glasses is the only thing. Uh -huh. And that hat. But uh, it just says Netflix official trailer. And then you can kind of see Swap Shop Season 2 on the bottom mm -hmm. saying the YouTube account. But that's it. Right. So, when he says this 10 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm like... Let's unpack that just for a minute. <laughs> All right. So, if you just watch 10 minutes, <laughs> you never sing Fiddling Leon. <laughs> uh, right. So... Right. <laughs> so, first of all, how did he find my either account mm -hmm. or my post right like yeah yes and then also he had to recognize your face uh -huh. from this right so how did you know that was him if you, if only, you watched only watched the, 10 minutes might have you in a little <laughs> bit of a fib there man uh. <laughs> You know, so like I'm like okay. Is it one well, of your fan? It's not a fan though. Is no, it? he he's not following me or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so but, he had to search uh, for you, possibly. Yeah. Or I don't really understand how he got to me. Mm -hmm. But you know, he was commenting. 
he couldn't make it but 10 minutes mm. and i'm like well i'm not in for the first 10 minutes so um <laughs> So uh, it's not. Yeah, and we didn't make the show. Like, That's right. And then you uh, are allowed to have opinions. And yeah. of course, some people didn't like first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you I, know. Yeah, I mean, I love the Andy Griffith show, but I can't stand the first episode. Uh -huh. When uh -huh. Aunt B shows up, yeah. I just don't like that episode. Yeah, so, so. I get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, um, but, uh, you know. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand how he found mm. my thing and commenting. You know, yeah, didn't yeah. watch but ten minutes. So. I don't know. It would. It would be like. Uh, it would be like me saying I. I hate the entrance of Best Buy, but yet when I went back into the corner, I found something I wanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like the entrance was horrible, <laughs> and then but yes. I kept going. Yes, and then uh, well, another thing is like well, I, I get it. I mean, he didn't like first 10 minutes of this show mm -hmm. well i mean congratulations that's it yeah you can just watch something else uh, i guess i don't know it's <laughs> I, I, I i'm so weird with it uh, the internet a lot, you know a lot of people would get bought i mean that's not that bad of a no, comment no, not anyway. at all i don't really care but but like man it's the internet you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes but like, it's <laughs> it's it's interesting like i said the i do have a um i would call hardcore fans mm -hmm. of mine um some of the people were sending me messages when the season one dropped mm -hmm. and basically telling me like i've watched first couple episodes and i am not seeing you uh -huh. like where are you <laughs> like you know why did they not put you on the front or something I'm like, I'm not the one who's faking this. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> we're just doing everything, and then somebody else yeah, stitches yeah. it together. So. so if you don't like it, maybe fast forward. Yeah, fast forward, rewind. <laughs> and honestly, it's not really consecutive. Like, you can watch it out of order. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. you don't have to watch one through six. They're not, they don't really lead to the next. It's just different That's stories. Right. Yes. So, so that's kind of on, you know, season two is about to, mm -hmm. you know, drop. So I'm kind of wondering what kind of reaction this time I'm going to get. Yeah, how deep you're buried <laughs> into it. And everybody's like, why, why? I we know. don't know. I don't know. I mean, in trailer, I don't see myself much. So, no, so. I don't, I'm not really saying things. <laughs> so I don't know how much of the portion they used or mm -hmm. anything. So... It'll be fun to watch. So, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, just, just check it out. Remember, February 16th. That's right. That's right. Season two. But uh, so we, we've we been doing a lot of social media um, posts. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we, we've been doing this uh, behind the scene type of thing mm. on a podcast and also going to YouTube. But at the same time, we were also doing like a, a lot of Instagram reels. Mm -hmm. The music, music yeah, part, yeah. yes, and um, I guess you want to you want to mention that your guitar song. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally <laughs> forgot about that. Well, anyway, uh, so you know we've been putting up these videos, and it's kind of interesting. You know, you do something like uh, Eastbound and Down, uh -huh, uh -huh. and obviously, or Doolin Banjos. Yes, that gets a lot of attention just because a lot of people know those songs. Yes, and you know so. I always had a problem when I put something through my social media, which is J.P. Mathis. Mm -hmm. uh, when I put stuff on my social media, it's large, lopsided men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. usually like my stuff, uh -huh. and obviously you as well. Mine, yes. <laughs> but anyway, I put this guitar video of me just practicing this uh, song by, it's called Bistro Fada, kind of a Belgian-French jazz song uh, by a guy named Stefan Rimbale. Mm -hmm. And I was learning the first part of it, and uh, I put that up, and like so many females loved <laughs> that. Yeah, I think it was that long socks with the basketball basketball shorts. shorts. <laughs> it could have been, but you know, it, it was just kind of amazing. Everybody's like, yeah. oh, you know, but. So I guess at the end of the day, my lesson was is like, yeah, you weren't playing banjo. <laughs> well, well, that's what you took. But like when you got excited, like, oh, my God, so many women are liking my post. I just said, well, I mean, have you thought that, 
that's not bluegrass. <laughs> so True. But does that many people really like that kind of <laughs> Central European jazz? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's different. It is. It is. It's, it's catchy. Yes. But uh, Or maybe it was just because it was out of place for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yes, and, that's, that's another But uh, So anyway, we've been doing a lot of those, and you've got a lot on your social media, and mm -hmm. I've got them on mine, of Fiddlin' Leona yes. and then J.P. Mathis also. So if you're not following already, please go ahead and follow. We have so many people that watch our stuff but don't follow it. <laughs> Uh, just follow it because apparently I have a lot of those people. You do though. have, a, like you have as many people just watching your stuff as you do following. I have a, quite a bit of people watching my story, uh -huh. but they never react on anything. Yeah, so <laughs> engage with us because the commodity of today, for some reason, I don't know why, because it don't give you any money. It's how many people you have following, following. you online. It don't matter. Yes. We engage. Our followers engage at a high percentage. Yes. But, we I, just, but at the same time, like I said, I don't want to be those people who has like, oh, I have 15,000 people following my Instagram account, but then you only get seven likes. Right. I'm like, yeah, yeah that looks computers pretty bad. Bots, <laughs> like, so I, I usually try to engage with mm -hmm. anybody who commented anything mm -hmm. or um sent me a question or something mm -hmm. like that i try to get back to you as quick as i could and speaking of questions yes through social media you've got a couple that's right i did that on the story that mm -hmm. you can do ask me a question type of thing mm -hmm. and uh because we've been doing this podcasting video casting mm -hmm. um behind the scene series of the swap shop and people's been enjoying that so right. i thought it might be a good idea to post on story and say hey if you want to ask us like what kind of a behind the uh, scene story that you want to hear mm -hmm. So I posted that the other day, but apparently nobody really cares about the behind the scenes thing. More personal so questions. So the questions are more very, very personal thing. <laughs> so I'll give you a couple of this uh, today. Um, one, I don't know, maybe you can. Oh, no. This. So Smo, Smo Voices, <laughs> ZC VMAO, <laughs> Brazil. Brazil. That was the question, and it's obviously yes. someone from Brazil speaking so, in Portuguese. So I obviously did the Google Translate, mm -hmm. and still kind of don't... Eh. Uh, when you do Google Translate, it says, the question is, just voices, period. Did you <laughs> come to Brazil, question mark? Um... So I'm assuming. Have you been? Have you been to mm -hmm. Brazil? Yeah. Is what I what he's asking. I think. I'm not sure. But and the answer is. No, I have not. But if you've got the money, <laughs> we've got the time. Yes, I would love to go to Brazil. Don't you? Oh yeah, I want to eat some of that meat. Brazilian, Brazilian meat. meat. <laughs> Sawed off. Hey, yeah. you can't beat that. I you know? know the Brazilian meat. Yeah. But. Uh, so uh, we'd definitely come if uh, if you can find us a sponsor. Yeah, that's, I would love to go there. We'll come do a tour, <laughs> Q&A, whatever you need. We'll come answer all of your questions. Yes. I, I just won't be able to pronounce anything. Yes, but like what I was talking about, um, we do get, I do get a lot of people from Brazil mm -hmm. or Spain, mm -hmm. Peru. Mm -hmm. Um, Italy. Italy lately. Uh -huh. So um, they've been talking to me through Instagram yeah. quite a bit. It's interesting. It, I guess they watch this show mm -hmm. and uh, some of them think I, some of them think that I'm beautiful or so. so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but none of them <laughs> think that I'm... <laughs> so technical problems. <laughs> <laughs> just knocked me out of the seat and it unplugged all of my computer and stuff, so... Uh, so anyway, so what I was saying before uh -huh. is none of them thought I was beautiful. Oh, oh, you you haven't got that message no, yet. No, I haven't. Aww. All I get, all, all I get is like I've got a bunch of like Mickey Mouse yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, in my was, granny's yeah. basement or something. Make a deal with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah the the beauty's not really there. <laughs> 
Yeah. But uh, so uh, so anyway. But yeah, so I get all all, all kinds of the international uh, people sending me messages and so on. Uh -huh. But uh, also another one. Uh, ah. He's he's a pretty on top loyal of loyal follower. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so his question his question was like say it was more personal or whatever. <laughs> what brought us together? And quick answer would be music, the music, yes. fiddle, banjo, uh -huh. uh, bluegrass country, mm -hmm. old time music. But uh, the, the story which I've told before, and I'll just give you the abbreviated yeah. version. I was on tour back in 2005 in Japan with a guy named Takaharu Kunimoto. He's mm -hmm. a shamisen player, mm -hmm. kind of the Japanese banjo. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were doing a tour with some other guys from the area, and uh, we had a mutual friend, and he said, Hey, there's this girl that wants to meet you guys. She's thinking about coming to East Tennessee to study fiddle, mm -hmm. uh, go to college. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, okay, we'll meet her. And then, so that's the first time we met. Uh -huh. And then I guess I basically started stalking you from that point on <laughs> on Yahoo chat. True. <laughs> and uh, not really stalking, just uh, communicating. Yes. But you, I, I, I successfully recruited you. <laughs> To the area. Yeah. And uh, you came in uh, the next semester. Yeah, that's right. You came the next semester, and uh, uh, that's kind of the, the beginning of our story. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of other. We'll write a book one day. Yeah. Go I into mean, detail. It's, <laughs> it's interesting, like I said, uh, from this, you know, TV show, there are so many people who didn't know about us uh -huh. at all. And uh, that was the first time they saw us mm -hmm. and heard how we met, so mm -hmm. on, and then they were like, how? Right. <laughs> you know, we did the uh, podcast interview the other day for can, um, Bill Alexander. Yeah, you can check that out uh, on, uh, you know, Apple or anywhere you listen to podcasts. It's called, the podcast is One, the number, On One with Bill Alexander. Mm -hmm. And that was fun. He was from up around Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he was talking about, uh, he was, his friend suggested to watch this show mm -hmm. and he went through a couple of episodes and then episode three, suddenly I show up and then he's like, what? Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he questioned us, kind of similar question, like how did we mm -hmm. meet and so on. So it, it's been a very interesting um you know, mm -hmm. the situation that we we got to have. Yeah, after. well, the, it was interesting to hear from him because he's outside of our world. Uh -huh. He's more of a radio guy. Yes, yeah. And that's why he watched the show because mm -hmm. of the swap that's shop it, yes. element. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, it, it was just interesting to hear his reaction of what he liked about us because he, he also liked that we buy small things uh -huh. that everybody has. Yes. And that everybody can collect mm -hmm. so that's he, he sent me after that podcast interview he sent me a picture of a uh he found a uh disney glass mm -hmm. uh like a uh, four of them for a dollar or something right, right. <laughs> so we encouraged him to go out and do a little uh yes. antique picking oh yes but uh so you can check that podcast out. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, we're, we're going to have to jump off here pretty quick today. Yes. We just want you to remember, check us out February 16th on Netflix, Swap okay. Shop. I'm having trouble hearing. Can you say that again? <laughs> the Amazon device in my house just asked me something. So anyway, we'll leave that. I don't know if you could hear that or anything. But uh, <laughs> we're having all kinds of technical difficulties today. Okay, she stopped now. She doesn't know any facts about Amazon <laughs> devices. That should tell you something. That's who she is, though. Yeah, I know. Oh, she, my God. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, uh, anything else? I think we covered Food everything. Food truck, 13th and 20th. Yes. The concert, the 26th of February. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back with you next time, and we'll start doing the behind the scenes of the new episodes. Yes. So, we can talk a little bit behind the scenes on that. And like I say, spread the word. Help us spread the word. Uh, that's the only way this thing works. Mm -hmm. uh, more people that watch it, more people that go on imdb.com and rate it. Yes. Uh, just so you can check all of the merchandise, the uh, schedule, 
um, things for sale from this TV show mm -hmm. on my website, which mm -hmm. is fiddlingleona.com, F I D D L I N G L E O N A. And any of the music or the food truck schedule on mm -hmm. johnpaulusa.com. There you go. That's John with an H. Yes. And uh, like I said, uh, if you have a question or anything, we will engage with you. Yeah. So um, send us email or contact us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, and every now and then we're on Yes, <laughs> yes. And then you're getting big time on TikTok. Ah, uh, yeah. Follow us on TikTok if you're on there. We still don't understand it. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand it. I but feel so old. <laughs> she's, she's fiddling Leona. I'm J.P. Mathis, M-A-T-H-E-S. Just follow us. We're putting up some of our videos and stuff on there. Yes. And uh, uh, help us out in the TikTok world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess that's about it. Do you have anything else? That's about it for this time. Well, you've been listening to the JP Pod. I'm JP. I'm fiddling, Leona. Have a good morning, a good day, good night, wherever in the world you are and whatever time it may be. Take care. Really? <laughs> <laughs>